Okay, yeah, this is the Joint Conservative Show. I am Joint Conservative, in case you're tuning in late. He's David Gilbride with us. <clears throat> Anyways, we have a real treat for you now. Oh, boy. So, let, so let's bring on our next guest, uh, final guest for this evening, uh, Elvis Jr., I guess you call, you call yourself. What are you, you Elvis' illegitimate son? That's Come on, true, folks, yes, sir. Y'all don't be making fun of my daddy now. I read in the Enquirer uh, that he had Stop died. the Enquirer. Every publication actually said that Elvis was dead. See, Elvis had to go into hiding because of people just like you that wouldn't leave him oh, alone. Oh, boy, come on! Oh, oh, I, I, know peace of mind. I know for a fact Elvis liked Johnny Conjunction. That's right. Elvis is a good friend of mine. I've never he seen you at any of his see. Christmas parties. All right, all right, look. Did you talk to Elvis recently, being the son in law? Uh, yes, I have. And wh what you been saying? Like, has he been talking about me? I don't think I've ever heard hey, of him. Hey, I know you're talking about me, folks. <laughs> this guy was real. You know he'd be talking about Johnny Conjunction. Yeah. Right? Now, what proof do you have that you are Elvis' illegitimate Well, I have song. this here, Elvis' Christmas album. Elvis sings the Christmas blues. Oh, come on. See look the resemblance? The, look at the resemblance, folks. Looks just like him, huh? Oh, boy. And it says right here, I dedicate this album to Elvis Jr., my son. Which looks is like, me. Looks like he wrote it himself. Send it, folks. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Pony, my audience can spot Pony Presley in five seconds, right? You have the, the gall, the audacity to come on this show and say you are Elvis Jr., uh, the great Elvis, the king of, of rock and roll. That's right, that makes you, me the you're prince. And you're saying you're his son, and you're like tagging along for a free ride. Isn't he, folks? <laughs> oh, boy. What a fake. Well, that's just it. I'll have to have my daddy Elvis come here next week just to prove that you're okay. wrong. Okay. Do people want to see the real Elvis? <laughs> in the next show, we'll have the real Elvis Presley on the show, and we'll prove this guy's a fake, though, because I don't think he'll be here. The king will be here. I can't believe that you would come on the show carrying an Elvis Presley Christmas album, of all things, a godly album like that, which we all know Elvis did, had great, beautiful Christmas songs. And this, and this, this dimwit comes on the show saying he's Elvis' son, tagging along for a free ride. Come on. Well, I just have a question for uh, the guest goes. Does Priscilla, okay, Priscilla, does she accept you as Elvis' illegitimate son? She has nothing to do with it. I wouldn't be an illegitimate son. Oh. Does she Elvis? recognize you as? Does she That's still Elvis? in court right now. I, he's he's putting Elvis' name to shame by talking this way. I'll give you Elvis shame. That's right. Okay. <laughs> but idiot moments like that when I come on this show, and that's the way they do. Deserve to be put on the show. <laughs> where the real truth comes out on the Joint Conservative Show. So stay tuned next next month. We have some real hot topics and hot debates. You'll see it on your little, uh, the words as they appear on the screen, what, what issues will be happening. So see you next, see you next month.